of their computers and uploaded all of their information. They are a humanoid race from a planet about 12 light years from here, a planet they call Earth. They seem to have two alien beings on board, however, a cybernetic life form and a paper-based life form. The two beings could be artificial creations as they both contain D. N. A like that of the humans who so vastly outnumber them. Their past history indicates a violent, warlike race and I would submit that their presence here is undoubtedly hostile. They may be a scout force sent here to gather reconnaissance for a future incursion. They may have designs on our system and this may be an advanced vessel to send back information. I suggest we destroy them at once, Head Commander, before they send for reinforcements and attempt to mount an invasion. Attention Orders, Earth Vessel. Sir? Attention Earth Vessel. This is Head Commander Avonica of the Gronlachus system. You have encroached upon our territory. Please stay at your purpose for being here or we will be forced to open fire upon you as an enemy combatant. Respond at once. Respond at once. Greetings, Head Commander Ivanica. I am Major Quint, and this is the Earth vessel, the Future Hope. We are indeed here from Earth. We entered the Tau SETI system, as we call it, in an emergency. We needed water supplies desperately. Our propulsion system was overheating and using up all of our water reserves. We are only passing through. We have no malicious intentions. Uh, we are on our way back to Earth at some point. And we are on an exploration mission now to find a habitable, colonizable planet, but we will not encroach upon anyone's territory. We come in peace, we will go in peace. Major Quint, out. Head Commander Ivanica, that Earth vessel commander is hiding something. We detected that they possess time travel technology, so we have no idea what other weapons they may be in possession of. They could destroy us. I say we must attack, but first we must make a demand. We must offer them the choice of giving something up. Those two alien creatures would be of use to us. That cybernetic one and that paper-based one. Both of them have unique and interesting qualities and characteristics. We could clone them and do experiments on them and perhaps create others like them that would enhance our race. We must do something. We must do something, Head Commander. We must demand that they hand over those two creatures to us. Can it be true? Can it be true? Will Flashy the Paper Doe and Timmy the Cyborg be kidnapped by the alien vessel? Find out in the next exciting episode of the Future Hope Saga. Will Flashy the Paper Doe and Timmy the Cyborg be kidnapped by the alien vessel? Find out in the next exciting episode of the Future Hope Saga.